Hi, I'm Picky Apricot Steve Andrews, and I'm going to show you how to import members and other contacts into your Wild Apricot database. If you already have a list of members or other contacts in a spreadsheet, you can use it to import them into Wild Apricot. You can also use the spreadsheet to make bulk changes to existing contact records. The first step in importing contacts using a spreadsheet is to prepare the spreadsheet file. The spreadsheet file must be in either XLS, XLSX, CSV, or XML format, and up to 50 megabytes in size. If the file consists of multiple sheets, only the last sheet in the file will be imported. There are no required columns when adding contact records through import, though it is a good idea to include one for the email address, since email address is the primary identifier for contacts in Wild Apricot, and is required for contacts to sign in and perform self-service functions. The only required column when updating existing contact records is email address. You can include additional columns for each field you want to update in your Wild Apricot contact database. The names of the columns, the column headings, are not important since you can map each column in the spreadsheet to fields in your contact database as part of the import process. To update existing contact records, Enter values in the columns that map to the user ID or email fields in your Wild Apricot contact database. To create a new record, enter an email address not currently in your contact database. If you are importing members, include a membership level column and enter the appropriate level for each member. Once you've prepared the spreadsheet containing the contacts to be imported, you can upload the import file to your Wild Apricot account. To upload your import file, hover over the Contacts menu, then choose the Import option. From the Import Contacts screen, click the Browse or Choose File button, depending on your browser. Now, you locate the import file on your computer or network, then click the Open button. After you click the Upload button, you'll be prompted to provide some details about the structure and format of your import file. After you upload the spreadsheet containing the contacts you want to import, you map the columns in the spreadsheet to the fields in your Wild Apricot database. For each column that you want to import into your Wild Apricot database, make sure that the Import checkbox is checked. Within the Map To drop-down list, you select the field in your Wild Apricot contact database into which the values for this column will be copied. If you want to use a column's value to populate a new field in your Wild Apricot database, select a new field for all contacts to add the field as a common field, or new field only for members to add the field as a membership field. For new fields, you must also select a field type. You can also indicate whether the new field should be for internal use only. When you map a column to a multi-option field in your database, you can indicate whether new field values found in the spreadsheet should be ignored or used to create new field options. Once you are finished mapping the columns to database fields, click the Next button. To help you remember the reason for each import, be sure to enter notes in the field provided before starting the import process. Now, you can begin importing records from your spreadsheet by clicking the Start Import button. Once the import process has started, a progress bar will appear. If you have other tasks to work on, you can leave the screen safely and the import will continue in the background. To review the progress of the import later, Return to Import under the Contacts menu. Once the import is finished, a detailed summary of the import will appear. If there are any problems with the import, the number of errors will appear as a link beside the Problems heading. Clicking this link will display the list of errors within the import log. The details of the error will be displayed beside the number of the row in the spreadsheet that produced the error. To view the status of all rows within the import spreadsheet, not just the ones with errors, click the Filter drop-down and select All Rows.
You can also access the import log by clicking the import log link within the import details. To view the status of previous imports, select the import option from the contacts menu again. From the import contacts screen, click the date of a recent import or click full import history for a complete import list. Contacts added to your database through import will not receive any membership confirmations or password emails. You can, following the import, send new members an email blast by including the contact password reset URL macro so that they can set their own passwords. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful.